Hi guys, welcome to Selvin Kitchen today. In Selvin Kitchen we are always doing something new. So today is Mother's Day in the UK, but I want to shout out to all of the mothers them over the world. So happy Mother's Day to every mother over the world. So in Selvin Kitchen today we're gonna to cook rump steak. So we have two slices of rump steak over here we're gonna use. We already washed them already. We already cleaned them so I'll leave a little bit of fat on them. So I'm just gonna seal it in the pot. So this is all the season what we're gonna use. We have one stalk of spring onion, we have one white onion, we have half of yellow bell pepper, we have half of red bell pepper, we have one cut up tomato, we have half of lime, we have two tablespoons of cooking oil, we have one tablespoon of iso sauce, we have one tablespoon of soy sauce, we have four cloves of garlic, so we have half a teaspoon of caprica, we have one teaspoon of onion powder. We have one teaspoon of garlic powder. We have one teaspoon of all-purpose season. So this is all the season what we're gonna use today to make the rum steak. So in Selvin Kitchen, guys, we are always doing something new. So thank you guys to support Selvin Kitchen. Thank you guys to watching my videos them. Thank you guys to sharing the video with your friends and family. Please give me a thumbs up for the videos them when you guys watching the videos them. And thank you guys to keep on support Selvin Kitchen. Hi guys, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to season up the beef. Before I season up the beef, I'm just going to stick some hole in it. So I want the season to go right down in it and to make it marinate properly. So I'm going to stick some hole in it. And the next side. It. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to mix up the, the all purpose, the garlic powder, the caprica, everything, just mix it up like that, mix up everything. Then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of it on one side first. Turn over the next side. These people, so I'm just gonna rub this up in it and I let it marinate for an half an hour. So the iso sauce now and the soy sauce, just gonna use, put a little bit over of it. Mostly gonna use it to make the sauce, but I'm gonna just gonna sprinkle a little bit over of it. So two teaspoon. So you wanna rub in all of that season that. That powder, that onion, that caprica, that all purpose, the soya sauce, that ice sauce, just rubbing everything like that. That's a good right down in it. It's gonna leave it to marinate now for on half an hour. You can smell it every look on the people. This is a nice piece of beef. So I'll leave that now to marinate around half an hour. Hi guys, so I just put in the oil. It's quite hot now. So I'm just gonna add in the beef. I'm just gonna seal it. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven for 15 minutes. Yes, people. Yes, people. Look at that already. So the color already changed already. Oh my God, it smells so nice and it looks so delicious already.
so alright guys I just took it put it in the oven I'm just gonna give it 15 minutes in the oven because I like my beef well done some people either eat it rare or medium but it's up to you guys or you want to eat your beef but I like my beef well done so I'm gonna put it in the oven give it 15 minutes and then after I'm gonna put it back in the sauce and give it another five minutes in the sauce so thank you guys for watching Selvin Kitchen videos then keep on support me keep on sharing and like the video Selvin Kitchen now this one people I just took out the beef out the the frying pan see so this this is all where the magic happens this thing this little sauce will leave the come up for the beef or for the season this is what we're gonna use to make the gravy so we'll keep that in so the first thing we're gonna hide in we're gonna hide in the white onion and then we're gonna hide in the bell pepper tomato spring onion and the garlic give it a stir So I'm gonna give that around five minutes. So I guys, this been cooking off for the last four minutes. So now I'm just gonna add in like a bit of seasoned leave over. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that season over it. Mix it up. And the rest of the iso sauce and soya sauce. Gonna squeeze the lemon. Gonna add a little boiling water to that. So I put put in around. Three quarter cup of boiling water. I'm gonna let it cook down for around four minutes, and then after I'm gonna take out the beef and put on it. Yes, guys, this bit cooking for the last five minutes, it's coming down nicely. So now I'm just going to take out the beef now out of the oven. It's been in the oven for the last 8 minutes. I'm going to give it another 2 minutes. So then I'm going to take out the beef and put the beef right in the sauce. Then I'm going to take out the sauce and put over the beef to keep it nice and juicy. And oh my god, I cannot wait to have some of these people. And, uh, sorry for the steam. So this comes down nicely. So guys, I just take out the beef out of the oven. It's been in the oven for the last 10 minutes. So now I'm just gonna add the beef right in this sauce what I'm making for the beef. For the people. So I'm just gonna add inside of it. Keep it there like that. Next one. So I just add the beef back inside the, the pot with the gravy, with the sauce. Just gonna add some of the sauce over it to keep it nice and juicy and mild. Oh my god, I'm gonna people. So I need my beef to well done. You can eat it medium or you can eat it rare. It's up to you, it's optional. But I like my one well done. So all the onion, the spring onion, the bell pepper, the garlic. Everything is over it. So just put some of the juice over it. It's gonna give this five minutes. I'm 
other people gonna give it five minutes more yes people what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna spin it over give it another two minutes on this side So I'm going to give it two minutes on that side. Put a little bit of sauce on this side as well. Hi guys, look at that people. This is all finished. Nice and tender. This is all finished people. So I'm going to serve this with some sweet mashed potato with pumpkin so i'm gonna do a video where i make sweet potato with pumpkin mash kind of people this is all finished so i'm gonna share with some of this for dinner it's beautiful hi guys this is all finished so now i'm just gonna have my dinner so i have some sweet potato with pumpkin mash i serve it with some tomato so this is my beef wine over there yes people so thank you guys to subscribe to Selvin kitchen video you know in Selvin kitchen we're always doing something new my new subscriber them thank you very much again my old subscriber them thank you very much to keep and support Selvin kitchen I really appreciate it at Selvin kitchen we have a lot more recipe coming out happy mother's day to all of the mothers them over the world happy mother's day so in Selvin Kitchen, we're always doing something new, guys. I cannot wait to have some of this. My mouth is dripping water. So I will see you guys in the next video. Everybody keep safe. Selvin Kitchen, out. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care of yourself. And please give me a thumbs up for this video. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're not here it's been way too long if i could lay down beside you i would i would when nothing really matters that's all i want to do i hope that you're safe and See you soon.